Today, we're tracking developments in the suspected bomb maker in the Lockerbie Air disaster. Pan Am Flight 103 blown out of the sky over Lockerbie, Scotland on December the 21st of 1988. 270 people were killed, many of them Americans flying home for the holidays. Two Canadians were among victims from 20 countries. 11 people on the ground were killed too. The Lockerbie bombing remains one of the worst terror attacks in U.S. history and one of the FBI's most complex investigations. As Mac de Gabra Salasi joins us with the latest, we know that the suspect, or a third suspect, a one-time Libyan intelligence operative, is being held in the Washington, D.C. area. So tell us about this, the suspect, Magda, and the next steps in this case. Well, Heather, what we're waiting to find out is when exactly he's going to be making his court appearance. But it does appear, based on this mugshot that CBS obtained, that Abu Agi, Agi, Aguila Mohammed Massoud is on U.S. soil, but U.S. officials for now are keeping quiet on, on the details of how exactly that happened. What we know is that there were reports he was kidnapped from his home last month by a militia group, and then there was talk swirling that maybe he was going to be handed over to uh, U.S. authorities. But again, nothing official on how this all happened. Now, up until this point, only one man has ever been con uh, convicted in connection with uh, the bombing, and that is Libyan national Abdul Basset al Magrahi. He was convicted in 2001. He served time in Scotland until he was released in 2009 for compassionate reasons because he was said to have terminal cancer, and then he died three years later. As for Abu Masood, well, the U.S. actually charged him two years ago, and only now, Heather, is he facing those charges. We are hearing, Magda, from the families of some of the American victims, and what are they now saying as this seems to be moving through justice now in 2022? Well, it's a mix of relief, shock, and hope that this is going to bring some sort of uh, closure. But the fact is, this man's trial, uh, the fact that it's actually on American soil, this is something that many people uh, that have lost loved ones wanted to see happen, but questioned whether that would actually uh, happen. So here's some reaction from Stephanie Bernstein and Kara Weeps. Bernstein's husband was killed and Weeps lost her brother, Rick, in the bombing. Take a listen. It was pretty surreal to hear that we had him in custody. I also hope that um, we will be able to obtain additional information um, from Masood. Uh, our government has always assured us that this was an open investigation. 190 victims on the plane were Americans. It's only right that it be prosecuted in the United States. I feel for those who aren't here today to see this moment. Now, Weeps' brother was actually one of 35 students from Syracuse University that died that day. And the university did release a, a statement on this latest development, calling it a, a significant milestone and expressing their commitment to continuing to honor the victims. Heather? Magda, thank you very much.